niggas better leave me alone. Phone, me alone. Niggas look at the chrome, leave me alone. What's going on, boxer fans? Listen, um, I want to talk about, um, first of all, what's going on, boxer fans? It's your man Zadang9 coming at you at December 15th. Holla back. Now, listen, listen, man. First of all, I want to say the reason I'm making this video because it was sparked. I just watched the video of HTV122 talking about Floyd should fight Lamont. And I want to give my two cents on that. And and I want to shout out to the people that did videos. They did excellent job. BK Warrior. And HTV did an excellent job too. Um, and Hatman. If y'all don't have Hatman, um... Look out for him because he's he's real good. Um, Sub Hatman TV. I think his name is Hatman TV. Something like that. Hatman. Real good. Real real. He's a Britain guy. Britain uh Britain guy. He he knows his boxing. He knows his shit. Well, anyways, what I want to talk about is what what should be Khan's next moves. Y'all hear me? This is what he should his next moves. His next moves in boxing. And this is what I think he should do. And I'm gonna speak on HTV on your video on um. Uh, you wanted Lamont, wanted Floyd. I, I'll put my two cents on that too. But first, let me tell you, it was a great fight. It was a good fight and everything, right? Now listen, they're talking about Floyd. I mean, I'm sorry, Carl. He wants a rematch. Now this is what I personally think. Okay, I think when it comes to boxing, right? And if you want shit to go your way, you have to have a mega fan base. Now I know that sounds like bullshit. But think of the fusion because listen man you want to fuse you could be a good fighter right listen man you could be a good fighter right that's like being a good fighter and having no personality but what I'm really trying to say is Lamont's a good solid fighter but there's a reason he don't have a fan base okay what I'm saying you know I'm not on no bandwagon shit Meaning to say, oh, uh, my f oh, the fighters that are like have a lot of buzz. But man, Lamont don't have no buzz like that. He's just a regular American contender that's real good, but don't have no punching power. You hear what I'm saying? Just good, decent boxing skills and just a strong guy with inner strength, like a Mosey. Like strength like Mosey or Curly. You understand? You know, real black strength. Real, you know, strength of a brother. But what I'm trying to say is... He doesn't have the buzz, the promotion, the marketing to fight Floyd. He has his hands full already with Khan. He just barely... Now listen, Khan could be on some juice. That That's real. That, that could be true. We don't know that. That could be true, but he just had his hands full. He has his hands full on 140. First of all, he didn't really fight nobody at 40 like that. He didn't fight Marcos. He didn't fight Devon. You know, he fought Victor um, and some other cats, but he didn't even, the level of observation he, compared to Khan, he didn't even fight. You understand what I'm saying? So, that's why I lean towards Khan to have a bigger chance to for him to be more appropriate to um, be a potential opponent for Khan. I mean, I'm sorry, for Floyd. Now, the reason I'm making this video is, what do I think Khan should do next? This is what I personally think. This is me. This is what I think. This is my personal opinion. Not, you know, everybody else. I think Khan should take this two. There should be two roads he should do. I think he should move on and leave this loss behind him and move on to bigger, better horizon. Move to 47 and jump in the fire. Fight somebody that's like top five ranked right now. Like ranked five and up. And that's including. Alvarez, even though Alvarez is a 154 because I've seen him fight in 47 before, so he can jump there if he wants. He can lose the weight and jump there if he want to fight. So the reason I put Alvarez in the mix, if Khan want to get back on his feet immediately, I think he should fight a real head honcho and make a statement. You understand? Make a statement. And, um, you know, let me know I'm here. You know, this, um, you know I'm here to I'm here to stay in the sport. Or. 
this is where he this the other choice. He gives Lamar Peterson a second chance because he owes that to him. Y'all gotta listen to Hatman's video. Hey, that post was beautiful. Him and um, BK Warriors, they had the best um, post fights for that fight. The best. Hatman and BK Warrior had the best post fights for Amir Khan versus Lamar Peterson. Go back and listen to um, Hatman's video. Excellent video. He was like, Khan owes it. Khan, Khan's very much respectable. You gotta respect what Khan did. He came in somebody's own town and fought them. So, what Lamont can at least do, because he gave out Lamont an opportunity. What he can at least do is owe Khan a favor and have a rematch in London. In London, where the same, where Khan fought Paul Mikowski. You know, somewhere in London, a big stadium in London. They need to have a rematch in UK. You know, just to make shit more interesting, you know. Um, Incentulating You know Whatever But um These are the two reasons Have a rematch in UK Or move on in better horizons And move to 147 To fight Alvarez Or, or a name You understand Like a real name Because he, he fell short It wasn't a real defeat He fell short Of the um Of the fight You understand what I'm saying He didn't like Get fucked up with, Like When he fought Prescott So and back on to Lamont, him versus Floyd. He got his hands full, man. I mean, he now listen, Khan could be on roids, which is understandable. Same camp, they're shady too. I don't trust them either. But um, Lamont has no type of force field. You understand what I'm saying? It, he's just a real good, solid fighter. Let me give you another example who's like that. Um, like, he wasn't on no Nash, he wasn't on no team, you understand? He was a great amateur, you know, good credentials, very marinated. But he's just a solid, good fighter. The reason Victor had a shot with Floyd, now that's the only reason I think Lamar should have a shot. Because Victor had a shot. Who was Victor? If Victor had a shot with Floyd, then why not Lamar, which is understandable. The reason Victor had a shot, because he moved to 47 and he beat Berto. You understand what I'm saying? He beat... A full-fledged welterweight, even though Khan is a big light welterweight. He's a big dude, but... There's really no choice for who to fight Floyd. I mean, yeah, for Floyd to have a partner, but... Man, I tell you, hold on. Yeah, that's my joint right here. I'm on that cushion night, baby. What am I? I'm on that cushion couch, baby. What am I? I'm on that cushion couch, baby. What am I? I'm on that cushion couch, baby. So boxing fans, you gotta understand Lamont don't got no heat like that. He don't got no buzz like that. He has to demand attention. You got Bona, right? Just came in the light, right? He has to captivate these people's minds by scintillating knockouts and building up, building up, accumulating fan base. You understand? And Lamar has no fan base. Now, who's Victor? Victor got a fan base because look at his resume. Who, who he fought? You understand? He fought a lot of fighters. Lamar didn't really fight nobody like that. You can't. He can't just jump in. Floyd is the face of boxing. In order to get through Floyd. You have to go through tremendous tests. Don't know. Now, Khan is a test. Vic, he fought Victor. But he didn't have that, that motherfucking test like that. You understand what I'm fucking saying? Now, if Lamont really want a shot with Floyd, I heard in sparring session they fought each other and he got the best of them. This is... I heard this somewhere. It was, I heard this on Facebook, matter of fact. One of um, the I have one of the amateur fighters on the cover. Somebody told me that they were sparring. You know, no, no. I'm sorry. I think I heard it on Fight Hype. Um, they were sparring and he got the best of them. But what happened was, you know, that's just sparring. That's all work. That's not like a real fight. But um, it says something. But you know, that's not the real deal. But what I'm trying to say is, if Lamont wants a shot with freaking Floyd. First of all, he has his hands full. Excluding Khan off the pitcher. Move to 47, which he can. He's 5'9. He's pretty big. He reminds me of Mosley. He's like physique and his strength. Um, his physique though. His not his mentality, but his physique and stuff. Um 
Muda 47 and beat Burner or beat Mike Jones. You know, break the ice before you take on the Articuno. You understand what I'm saying? Before you take on the, the ice, uh, the ice god, and that's Floyd. So you have to break through that wall to break through that barrier. And Lamont did not do that. Now, Khan didn't either. But who's closer is Khan out of the two. So out of the two of them. I give it to Khan, he got a better chance of fighting Floyd, he needs to fight Floyd. I don't know how to make a response video, so this is going to be on my my regular vids, so check me out, holla back if you like my videos, like my video, you're listening now, viewers, hit the sub button, holla back, because I like how the boxing community is growing, it is growing, that's a beautiful thing, baby, so holla back, so what? I, the reason I made this video, uh, Lamar Peterson does not deserve a shot with Floyd. Alvarez don't deserve a shot with Floyd. What what I think they need to do after both fighters, Khan and Peterson, what they need to do, two things. Have a rematch in London. Or part ways, Khan moves up to 47 fight a, fight, fight a name that's in the top five. Like, um, I don't got the welterweight picture in front of me right now. Maybe, I don't know, dude. Claudio, no, I don't think he's that high. Somebody that's five and up on the ranking. Somebody that's five and up. Carmels. And that's either Alvarez. Alvarez can move back down to 47. Because he did. Don't get me wrong, yo. He could fight at 47. I seen him fight. He's like he's like um Sean Porter. Um uh, Alvarez. He moves up and down. He moves to 47 and 54. He's like Sean Porter does that. So he can fight at 47, no problem. So but um Yeah man, holla back. Leave a comment what y'all think. I want to repeat myself one more time. Lamont Peterson does not deserve a shot with Floyd Mayweather Jr. Let me give you the fighters that do deserve a shot. Miguel Cotto. He can go back to 147. Now, I'm not saying, oh, um, oh there's, no, there's no competition for Floyd. It's not about that. It's about who is lined up for... To, who's lined up for... Let's have fun. Boxing. Who is lined up? And I'll name you the fighters. Pat. Because, you know, media hype. Hype is behind his side. Powerful people behind his side. Um, Miguel Cotto. Because they've been supposed to fight since 2008. So, if I was Floyd, I would I would fight Plan B. I would fight Cotto. Um, well to wait. Well to wait. Um... Not Kong. Kong got to um, break through that ice. He got to break a barrier. And that's fight Alvarez. Or somebody real at welterweight. Um, the people that deserve a shot with Floyd is Pacquiao. Even though Floyd don't need Pacquiao. I'm just telling you the opponents that need. Um, I mean the opponents that earned a shot with Floyd. If, if, Floyd, don't, if, if Floyd can't fight Pac. Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto. Berto's busy right now, so after he's done it, for sure. Uh, he, you know, the Ortiz fight. So hopefully Berto wins that fight. I don't, I'm don't. i not on box right now, but... um, Those are the only two people I could see that has... Oh, oh no, 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 no. Alvarez don't deserve a shot either. That's it. Basically, um... The only people... The only people... That are only worthy for Floyd's attention is Manny Pacquiao and Miguel Cotto. Miguel Angel Cotto. I'm trying to think of somebody right now. Hold on. That's it, man. That's. I was thinking of Peterson, but no. I mean, I'm not Peterson. I'm um, Bradley. But no. Um. There are only two people. You know, and if I was. If. Look, if if Pac don't want to agree by if I was Floyd and Pac don't want to agree by the end of basically beginning of, well hold on yeah by next year if you don't want to agree he got to move to um fight Cotto and Cotto would do it you know there's a big payday and all that shit so listen I'm gonna leave it at this holler back people tell me what y'all think about my video one love.